My name is Ernesto Morales. I'm a New Mexico State graduate from 2007, an undergraduate in Human and Community Services. I graduated with a Master's in Public Health in 2009. I was a Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center intern in 2008, and I'm currently going to the University of Colorado Denver, uh, completing a doctorate in Health and Behavior Science. Ernesto, another New Mexico product, has um, promised to come back to New Mexico as a faculty member, and that's wonderful for us. Having the opportunity at the Hutch, I think, showed him how he could balance lots of research in a teaching career. What I liked about the project that I did at Fred Hutch was it was a very uh, translational project. It was a project that I think was feasible in a lot of areas um, with a lot of different uh, groups of people. I worked with Dr. Betty Thompson. I sort of came in on the tail end of a project she was doing, which was um, choosing several outcomes there in the Yakima Valley. We call them home health parties, almost Tupperware parties type of things, to create dialogue in these uh, neighborhoods and these communities about certain health outcomes, from diabetes to uh, breast cancer, colon cancer. And so I did uh, my project on colon cancer, and it actually turned out to be my uh, thesis topic uh, to complete my master's degree here and I uh, have uh, recently published a paper from some of the findings. Colon cancer is not the easiest thing to talk about, so one of the nice things about the research of Fred Hutch is they create an environment where you can have these kinds of conversations and get some valuable information. But even more important was they used um, promotoras, local community health workers, to really be sort of the facilitators of the information. So, you know, training people from within the community to, to really do the work, to talk about these health outcomes with people, um, it's just a very comfortable environment. And I, I'm not sure that was the kind of research I knew existed until I was able to, to go to Seattle and do it. And I said, wow, I'm not, I wasn't behind a desk all the time. Um, I was out, I was, I was doing these two hour drives to the community and meeting people and actually, they weren't numbers, you know, they were real. It was, it was a great experience. And all because of, of the relationship that Mexico State University has with the Hutch and recruiting students from here and um, allowing them to really do applied work Get out of New Mexico, which I think is important, because I also think what it does is it gives you a certain sense of pride of where you come from. I remember the first day walking in and seeing all these students, and they went around the room and talked about their experience and what universities they were from, and yeah, I felt intimidated. But I'll tell you very quickly, I realized that I brought a certain kind of character and skill set to this program, to the entire internship. I think a lot of times preparation isn't really known until you're put into the, into the moment. You know, I, you don't really know what you know until they ask you. I was saying things and using terminology that I'd picked up here in New Mexico State. If we're talking about health disparities, um, being from New Mexico, they're right here. Uh, if we're talking about issues of border health, we're just a few short miles away. And New Mexico and education here is something to be reckoned with. We are producing quality students and have quality faculty that have a vast amount of research and a vast amount of teaching skills that I think are valuable. I'm very proud to be a product of New Mexico State University. I'm very proud to be a product of New Mexico, period.